Department of Education has once again demonstrated its support for the BT Young Scientists and Technology Exhibition by encouraging schools from the north to get involved. Education Minister John O'Dowd has hosted a reception for schools from the north who have entered this year's event. 31 schools and one further education college from the north have entered. 24 schools attended the reception at Stormont. Well, I, I think the competition enthusiasms young people. You can see it, uh, even talking to the young people today about their projects. They're enthusiastic, they've, they've pride in the work that they're doing, and it opens up young people's minds to all, the range of STEM subjects and the possibilities that are there. So I think it's an excellent idea. And why is it important that we encourage young people to study STEM subjects? Well, the STEM subjects are going into the future. We are now training our young people for future jobs, and indeed jobs that may not ex yet exist. And the young people who are going through STEM subjects today, we don't only want them to be employees, we want them to be employers of the future, uh, creating innovative industries, bringing in innovative industries he back here to uh, employ young people, build the economy. So it's vitally important that we encourage our young people to become involved in STEM and to broaden the knowledge of STEM subjects. And uh, would you say that the Young Scientists and Technology Exhibition from BT, this is one way of uh demystifying STEM subjects for children and helping them you know, get more hands-on with STEM? Yes, I, I think the BT Young Scientist Awards is exactly that, it's hands-on. Young people developing their own projects in conjunctions with their classmates and in conjunctions with their, with their teachers and going into the competition, having pride and going down to a major event, 40,000 people going through the doors of the RDS to look at these projects, that, that's fantastic. I think BT also has to be congratulated in working in conjunction with the education system, encouraging, or encouraging young people, letting the spark in a young person's mind about the possibilities of STEM. Absolutely, it's about more than just the competition, it's about taking part really as well. This will be the first time you've gone down to the finals event in Dublin uh, yourself, are you looking forward to it? I am really looking forward to it. Uh, my predecessor Katrina Rian always attended and was, spoke very highly of it. I'm looking forward to going down to seeing our local schools here and hopefully bringing back lots of prizes and, and doing well. As they've done over a number of years, they have shown that, uh, that they are leaders uh, in, in the STEM subjects, they're leaders in this science award, so I'm really looking forward to it. I think the exhibition is probably the most important thing we do. This is our 12th year, not just of, uh, in terms of organising uh, and, and sponsorship. It's a huge uh, activity for us, both internally and externally in the company. The, the exhibition gives us a brilliant platform to try and encourage uh, the, STEM, the development of STEM subjects. Uh, we've had quite a few examples where, probably five, six years ago, we've had some of the really good ideas coming out of the exhibition. Mm -hmm and into sort of uh, the commercial world. Mm -hmm. uh, so much so that one of the previous winners has had a successful company sold there uh, for over five million euros. Mm -hmm. But I think the important point is that uh, businesses like BT absolutely depend on these kind of skills, whether it's science, whether it's technology, and it's that kind of uh, skill development that we're looking to encourage here. In this day and age, uh, there are a lot of cutbacks within companies like ourselves in terms of sponsorships and any other kind of activity. But the BT Young Science and Technology Exhibition is, is the one property that we continue to invest in, so much so that we, we increased our investment uh, for the next three years. So the 12 years we see is a very, very long-term approach by the company, because without us helping encourage the type of skills that we need, um, that'll be a, a bit of a problem for us in, in terms of future skills coming into our kind of company. Okay, Kira, tell us about your project that you've entered. Our project this year is we're testing the development of a coffee-based sun cream. And well, the reason we're doing that is because in coffee there's caffeine, and caffeine absorbs the UV light, so we want to see which one would be better to protect us from the sun as well. That's really good. And are you all in the same group? Uh, for the same, for the Lavinia's same in a different group, but us two are in the same group. So yeah. Tell us about your project, Lavinia. Um, I'm doing medicine. How much is a spoonful of medicine? And I'm... I'm testing how accurate as a spoonful of medicine, you know, the way you get a plastic spoon along with your medicine bottle. I'm seeing how is that even accurate. And I did results last year and it isn't that accurate. So I'm trying to develop and see now is it resistance against what bacteria and stuff. Is this the first time you've entered BT Young Scientist this and Technology? This is our fourth time yeah. going down now, yeah, since fourth first year we've been down now, yeah. Uh, have you enjoyed it in the past? It's been yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Met yeah. crowds of new people and it's been a pretty good experience. Would you say the competitions helped you get involved more with STEM subjects? Uh, has I. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, do you plan to continue studying them? Yeah. Yeah, well, I want to do forensics, so I, uh, I think I'll be keeping on STEM subjects. So. Yeah. Um, what about yourselves? Do you plan to go on to university maybe and, and study STEM subjects? 
Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe. I'm all I'm interested the matter of doing my project and stuff, so for the future, if it continues on the way I'm interested in, yes. Oh, that's really good. Thanks very much, folks. That's great. I'll tell you what, uh, so you're both going down to the BT Young Scientist and Technology Exhibition in uh, January, yeah, is that right? Um, Grace, can you tell me about your project, please? Um, well, mine is um, Alzheimer's, catalase, and vitamins. And um, well, it's like a continued on project. It's um, studying how like different like uh, metal ions affect the breakdown of hydrogen peroxide, which is a chemical in your brain, which um, which like causes plaques and tangles in your brain if it's not broken down properly. So um, so we're just testing to see the different effects of metal. That sounds, that sounds really complex. Actually, you lost me after about three words. That's, that's excellent. Seriously, what about yourself? What's your project about? I am developing and evaluating the a handy method of com determining what concentration is on surface statin in Ramapro. It's a continue on project uh, as well and I'm doing Crestor, which is surface statin is for high cholesterol, Ramapro is for high blood pressure and Crestor is for diabetes. So, so yours is more uh, biology based, is that right? And yours is more chemistry based, Grace, is that right? Um, what, what sort of level are you studying STEM subjects at now then? Where are you? Key stage three? GCSE. GCSE. Oh, GCSE, all right, well. And uh, does the competition encourage you to keep on with STEM? Yeah, yeah it does. It's about more than just the projects, it's about the atmosphere and it's about yeah. seeing people and, yeah. And you get to like go to like, kind of go around to different projects and stuff as well. So. Would you be hopeful of maybe winning one of the awards, or you're not bothered? Or do you actually? Are you, yeah, you're actually you're you're really trying to win this time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that's good here. Yeah, yeah, no, so there's there is a genuine competitive edge to it. Well, sometimes. So some people are competitive. Depends on your nature. Yeah, it, it depends on like as well like like there's some ones that have gone down like the first time so they're just kind of like getting used to it but now we've been down like we went down to the project mm -hmm. twice and so we're all we need to win something. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's good to hear. No, that's excellent. That's excellent. And so will you um, will it encourage you to keep going with STEM subjects then into your A levels? Do you yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Do you have uh, plans beyond that to sort of maybe have a career in STEM? Yeah, we both want to be nurses. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, I'm blanking. You're a teacher with St. Mary's College in Derry, and you're taking a big group down to the BT Young Scientist Technology event in Dublin in January. Why, why do you encourage the young people to get involved? I want them to have experiences outside the classroom. I want them to meet people of like-mindedness, you know, their own peers down there. I've been going for a number of years down to Dublin, right? I'm probably 11 or 10 or 11 at this point and each time I go down I want to go back prize or two. I would love to get a prize or two back you know previous girls have won prizes this lot so far the highest they've got is highly commended but with all the effort that they put in they deserve something you know but they've got more confidence they're getting used to touching uh, talking to the judges in a more confident manner which before they didn't have so they're getting all the social interaction and they're developing communication skills you know as well yeah it's not only about the science then it's no. not no it's about having a good time fun actually i want them to have fun so if they have fun i'll have fun as well so that's sort of uh, selfish of me i suppose <laughs>